Writing Standard DBQ Essays Step 1. Understand the question. This is part 2 of an 8-part series on how to write standard DBQ essays in history. Each video covers a different step in the writing process. You can watch them all consecutively, or come back to review individual steps as needed. Every document I reference will always be available for download in the video description. With an understanding of the basics of standard DBQ essays, you're ready to learn about step one, understand the question. You should read the historical question several times and seek to truly understand it. Is it asking about causes or effects? Do you know the difference? Think about what is and what is not part of the scope of the question. Just as with a standard essay, your teacher will provide the DBQ question. Like standard essay questions, it will be open-ended and interpretive. That is, it won't have a simple yes or no answer and will be subject to debate. Every question will concern an era or a time period, whether it's explicitly stated in the question or not. Make sure that you keep the time period in mind so that you end up answering the right question. Talk with your teacher if you are having trouble understanding what the question is asking you to do. Let's take a look at my example question. Why did the Roman Empire fall? Though our sample DBQ doesn't include this, sometimes you will also be provided a brief historical background paragraph to help orient you in the right time and place. As I read and think about this question, I consider what the question is and is not asking me to do. It is clear to me that I'll be writing about the end of the Roman Empire. It's basically about the causes of the fall. By realizing this, I can avoid thinking about unrelated issues and focus on the task at hand. I won't be writing about the effects of the fall of Rome or the rise of the empire. Being aware of this keeps my research focused, saves me time, and makes the writing process easier. Many students foolishly rush through the question so they can get right to the documents. Make sure you don't do this. Take your time and really think about the question before you move on. In part three, we'll discuss what to do with all those documents. Thank you.